Hey, so I'm gonna walk you through creating a template for a graphic organizer that I'm gonna use inside of Seesaw, but I'm using Google Slides to make this. So I have a blank page here that I'm starting with. And if you notice, you have some line tools that you can use up here at the top. So I'm gonna use line to start drawing out what will become my T-chart. So I've made one to go across. I'm going to make another one going right down the middle. So lines are pretty easy, of course. When you have a line selected, you can make them a little bit thicker. This might be a nicer thing to do for your students. And for the bottom, I'm going to create a box because this is going to be where I put in some images for my students, like a, an image bank. And of course, when the box is selected, you can also change the color of the box, the inside. You can make it transparent or you can give it a little bit of color. I'll do a little bit of color there. And let's add some text. This is going to be the letter A. I want my students to be able to find pictures of words that start with A and drag them into this column. It's going to be a little bit of a sorting activity. Okay, so I have the letter A there. Now I'm going to copy and paste this over. So I can have B over here on this side. So now I have my, my space here where my images are going to go. I have column A and column B, so my students will be dragging in images to match the sound that it starts with. What I'm going to do now is save this as a picture or a JPEG so that I can use this inside of Seesaw as my template. I'm going to go to File, Download, save it as a JPEG here, and it should download. Okay, so now I'm in my Seesaw journal, and what I'm going to do is create that activity. So I'm going to go to plus sign and say assign activity. Once you're here, you can you see that there's an option to create new activity. So I'm going to do that here. It's going to be called A and B sort. Okay, so right here I'm going to type out my directions for my students. And if you're working with younger students, obviously you want to add some voice instructions in right here. For the, the purpose of this demonstration, what I'm going to do is come down here and add a template for my students. So I'm going to press, press Add Template, just so I can show you this part here. What I want to do is first start by uploading the file that I created in Google, that, that background image. So I'm just going to say Select from Computer, and it's saved to my downloads. So here's that file. And I'll click check mark. So now it places the image there on the screen. And what I want to do is add the images on top that are going to be the um, draggable pieces for students. So I'm going to use the camera here and say upload. And these are some images that I already saved um, just from searching on Google. I got four images here. So I'm going to grab all four of these all at once and say open. Now I just hold shift so I can grab all four of these pictures all at once. I clicked on the first picture, hold shift, click on boy, and that grabs all of them like that. Click open. <clears throat> it brings my images all in at once. And this is when I'm going to size them down here and put them down into this um, little library down here. So maybe I'll put the boy over here, put the bee here, the apple, size it down and put it here, and then the ant. We'll put that over here. Okay, so everything looks good. Um, I'm going to press check mark. And let's go ahead and save this. Now I want to click Assign because I want this to go into my specific class. Seesaw Training is the name of the class I want to go to, so I'm assigning it. And I'm going to go View It. And I'll just show you what it looks like for a, from a student's perspective to respond to this. So I'll click Add Response. And I'm going to go in as Sample Student here. And what the students will do um, is they're going to have to use the hand. And once they do, they'll be able to grab the image and sort it into the correct category that they to match the sound. B goes with B. Ant ah, ah, goes with A. There you go. And you can even have your students click record. That could have been part of it as Let's try that. Click record. So now I'm having the students talk it out. A is apple. A, ah, apple. A. I'm going to pause that. And so that could be just a nice thing to have your students actually practicing the, 
the audio and sounding it out to match the symbol or the image with the letter and the sound that it makes.